Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing ring-tailed lemurs. These are probably the most iconic and well-known of all the lemur species. Like other lemurs, ring-tailed lemurs are found only on Madagascar. Specifically, they live in southern Madagascar, where they inhabit open forests and scrubby thickets. Ring-tailed lemurs get their common name from their ringed tails. Go figure. Each ring-tailed lemur has 13 alternating black and white, or gray, stripes adorning their two-foot-long tails. These primates are not monkeys. Ring-tailed lemurs live in groups, called troops, that can number 3 to 30 members. They are territorial and defend their home from other ring-tailed lemur troops with calls and scent marking. Here are some ring-tailed lemur calls. These mammals also have stinky scent glands. Males produce oils from their wrists and chest, which they rub together and then spread across their tails. Once coated, they'll wag their tail in another lemur's face. The scent is meant to oppose rivals and give potential mates clues about his genetics, to prevent inbreeding, and how he's feeling, like if he's sick. So it can either be stink fighting or stink flirting, depending on the interaction. During the breeding season, which begins in mid-April, males also physically fight each other for female affections. On average, these mammals weigh 6 pounds, but females are slightly smaller than males. Ring-tailed lemur troops are led by the ladies. Even the lowest-ranking female is higher ranking than the highest-ranked male. Females remain with their birth troop for life, and males trade troops every 2-5 to years after they reach reproductive maturity at three years of age. After mating, males don't take part in raising their young. Ring-tailed lemurs gestate for four and a half months, about the same amount of time as an anteater. Twins aren't uncommon for these primates, though single babies are still the majority. The baby clings to its mother's belly for its first two weeks of life before switching to a jockey-style position atop her back. The baby nurses for about half a year, but has a long transition period to solid food starting at two weeks of age. Sadly, first-time lemur moms have almost a 50% chance to lose their baby. But as they get more experienced, their babies are more likely to survive. Lemurs are expected to live about 15 years in the wild. Predators to ring-tailed lemurs include fusas, civets, domestic cats, snakes, and even brown lemurs. Contrary to what may be popular conception, ring-tailed lemurs spend nearly 50% of their time on the ground. In fact, they're the most terrestrial lemurs. While on the ground, they are often seen in the sun-worshipping position. They'll turn their bodies to the sun and sit with outstretched arms. The hair on their belly is less dense, and this stance helps them warm up before foraging. Ring-tailed lemurs eat fruits, leaves, flowers, bark, insects, and more. In a single day, they may travel over three miles in search of food. While moving in a troop, ring-tailed lemurs hold their tails high, like flags, to keep the group together. Outside of foraging, ring-tailed lemurs bond with each other by grooming. Like other lemurs, ring-tailed lemurs have tooth combs. Their lower incisors form a comb-like structure that they use to comb through each other's and their own fur. For more facts on ring-tailed lemurs, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeagle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.